So this is the 2016 Chrysler Town & Country, standard four-door minivan. I recently drove the Chrysler Pacifica and really liked it, so I was kind of excited to drive this one. I think one of my favorite features of these minivans is the amount of storage you get in the back. So let's open it up and take a look. Collapsing these third row seats is super easy. You just have to pull on these three cords that are hanging back here and the seats just sort of fall away all on their own. And then you're left with this enormous storage space in the back. And then there's a push button feature to automatically close the back door. Here's the front cabin. I think it's pretty nice looking. This one came in leather, so it uh, is attractive. And you get a standard key fob with this weird key thing on the front. And here's what it looks like when you start the car up. So the center console on this vehicle is pretty nice. You get a small touchscreen, standard climate controls, cup holders. Uh, I did play around with the touchscreen a lot, but it doesn't have a lot of features that are worth mentioning. What I do like about these vehicles is the storage. You get a lot of cup holders here. You also get this uh, sort of hideaway space in the center of the console to place things. And then there are all a couple of uh, outlet jacks right here on the bottom. You also get this additional space above the glove box, and then a sunglasses holder right there. Hey, that's me. And then some buttons to interact with uh, all the door. I didn't like that you have a digital clock and an analog clock, and that's kind of a summary of this vehicle, just some wasted features. But they did include still these rear windows that you can open up, and most of the other minivans have gotten rid of this feature. But uh, let's jump in the back and take a look, because that's really the selling point of this vehicle. You get a lot of space back here. I didn't have any trouble moving around, which is really nice. You can also collapse these captain's chairs really easily. You pull up on this tab right here on the floor to reveal a, a hidden compartment down here. And then it's just pulling on one tab to get the seat to completely fold away and disappear into the floor. And unlike most of the other minivans, the child seat anchors are really easy to access. They stick out almost completely in the front and the back, which is really nice. And you do get cup holders and lots of storage space throughout the vehicle. Here's what the top of the roof looks like, or the ceiling. You get all these storage spaces that are a perfect size for maybe an iPad or some books for the kids. And there's three of them, which is really nice. And then there are actual dedicated climate controls in the rear for people to use. And then there's actually a DVD player screen. You, you plug the DVDs in the front, but here's the screen in the back. Driving this car was surprisingly nice. It handles pretty well for a minivan, and it has some decent acceleration. I drove this car for almost 300 miles, and uh, it was comfortable the whole time. I was able to keep up with traffic. I'm not going to beat anybody off the line but it's a, a decent ride. So that's the 2016 Chrysler Town & Country. I give this car three stars. Decent minivan with some nice storage. So my plan is to rent 100 rental cars. So far I've rented 11. The top three are the 2016 Ford Edge, 2016 Chrysler Pacifica, and the 2016 Mustang Convertible. And here's how the rest rank right now. I'm putting the 2016 Chrysler Town & Country at number nine on my list. There's nothing wrong with this minivan. It was nice and it had plenty of storage, but there just wasn't a lot to get excited about. There's still plenty of cars to come, so who knows how this one will rank. Up next, I'm renting the 2016 Mitsubishi Outlander. Mitsubishi, it's kind of hard to say. Anyway, I'm looking forward to it. I hope you join me for that video, and if you wouldn't mind, please like, comment, or subscribe to this video. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.